Welcome to my new watercolor tutorial and today let's paint Angel's trumpet flower. An outline drawing is done which is available for download. We'll be removing the excess amount of graphite with an elastic eraser. If you see that your elastic eraser is getting dirty, you don't need to change it. You can very quickly and easy make it again clean. You need to squeeze and differently bend and it slowly will become again fresh as new in pink color. My eraser was in pink, so again it's ready to roll, looks nice, no need to be buying a new one. Now removing the excess amount of graphite off the paper, very carefully, very, very accurately, we need to remove as much as possible, we don't need any extra graphite lines visible. And as this is a very light subject, I'm taking another eraser and very carefully, without any pushing or, or rubbing, removing some more of the graphite marks, especially at the outer edges. And with a big brush, wiping out eraser dust. Now let's mix watercolors. Starting with lemon yellow. We're adding a little bit of sap green, very pale, very small amount of watercolors. On a piece of paper we will test our watercolors, what kind of mixes we have, but very small amount of pigment. For the second mix I'm taking a little bit from the first mix, which is lemon yellow and sap green, and adding a very small touch of ultramarine blue. Everything is super transparent, super light, because we have a very light subject. For the third mix, I'm adding permanent rose, also a very small amount, and manganese violet to make it more violetish cooler with a little touch of ultramarine blue to this mix. Very light, very transparent. Checking on a piece of paper. For the first mix, permanent rose. and Indian yellow. Testing on a piece of paper, everything is super light. Adding a little bit of more for some darker areas, permanent rose and Indian yellow. Adding perlin green to my very light green mix. And on the side I'm also adding manganese blue, which is very light and bright. You can use cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, whatever you have separately making space for manganese violet and sap green together with lemon yellow. Adding sennelier red, maybe we will need that pigment. Now we can start painting. Adding water to the left part of this angel's trumpet, half of it with round synthetic brush. Water is just enough so that I can move my watercolors with the brush. Nothing is floating by itself. If you apply water and when you apply watercolors they start to move by themselves, it only means that you added too much water. Water is just enough for the paper to get moist and we can move watercolors easily and smoothly. Now looking at the reference I see that Angel's Trumpet on the upper part is more greener, a little bit darker greener compared to the middle part and I'm taking a mix of lemon yellow and sap green. Then I'm taking a very light amount of 
lemon yellow sap green and ultramarine blue adding to the middle part of the angel's trumpet with round synthetic brush as you can see from the screen the mix is super light almost not visible that's how light we need to be in the first layer for the light subject then i'm taking permanent rose with indian yellow mix a little bit of permanent rose with manganese violet and moving towards the bottom part of this flower very carefully constantly checking reference where is the lighter where is the darker area carefully mixing colors together not over mixing we still need those separate areas one is green one is more bluish green the other one more violetish pink careful with outer edges everything is at this point is super light super transparent we are just establishing color tones tonal values with round synthetic brush spreading watercolors while the area is still moist towards the outer edge line and with clean and dry brush wiping the areas where i don't need any pigment that is those spots that are visible in the reference and some light areas between the petal veins with clean and dry brush it is possible uh, for the first layer while, while the surface is still a little bit moist and round synthetic brush does the job perfectly with few brush strokes we can remove that amount of watercolor that we need only if you are painting transparently it's super important to make it very light keep the light of watercolor painting and of the subject this subject is very light and very transparent now speeding up the process of painting this angel trumpet full tutorial is on my patreon links are down below where you can go and check it out the whole process took one hour and 30, 40 minutes to paint this angel's trumpet and this is from our zoom session we were painting live together with my patreon students
adding finishing touches to this angel trumpet flower painting. It took some while with very transparent painting, uh, gradual transitions and layering many layers here and the result is worth it. Learn a lot of new things and tested my patience for very light and transparent layers. Thank you for watching, hope you learned something new and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!